Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Salem. And our question tonight comes to us from Harley Bode, who asked my opinion of uh, unaffiliated eclectic witches who do not belong to any particular tradition. And Harley goes on to point out, having observed uh, members of certain traditions seriously criticizing those who are unaffiliated with traditions. My personal opinion is that however spirit comes to you is wonderful. And whether you belong to any particular tradition or no tradition at all, or for that matter, any particular religion or no religion at all, as far as I'm concerned, has nothing to do with the role of spirit in your life. That is between you and spirit. The different traditions and the different religions exist to provide a framework to those who, who desire and require a framework, and a variety of different frameworks because people just aren't the same. And I think that plurality is a wonderful thing. And I also do understand some people do not particularly need a framework. Personally, I think that framework is usually helpful, but I, uh, I don't really worry about other people's spirituality, and I hope that it's good for them. Uh, my attitude actually toward this question is less what I think of unaffiliated eclectics than what I think of those members of certain traditions uh, that do criticize the unaffiliated. And my attitude toward that is that one really needs to watch one's own life first and then worry about what other people are doing. Uh, and even then, only if it affects you. I think one of the worst problems that we have in our community is people who define themselves in the negative. Uh, who worry about what they don't believe rather than what they do believe. Who worry about what they don't like rather than what they do like. Uh, and who worry about what everybody else is doing rather than about what they're doing themselves. And I think this is an extremely destructive streak in certain parts of our community, and one that we really need to overcome. If you believe your particular tradition is the best path in the whole world, that's wonderful for you. And the way you should express that, in my opinion, is by talking about how good it is. Talking about the benefits it offers you, the good things it does for you, that really is a positive and uplifting thing to do. And uh, personally, I belong to a wonderful tradition that does a lot of good things in my life. I do not think that it's helpful to go around trashing what other people are doing, because spirit comes to every individual in the way that's right for them, and people just are very different. And one size does not fit all. Having said that, I think that Another aspect of this ongoing tempest in a teapot has to do with self-confidence and sincerity of belief. Because I think when you sincerely believe the things you do and you have self-confidence in, your, in yourself and in the path that you're following, you don't need to trash other people's paths. Uh, and you don't need to worry about them either. You worry instead about the good things in your own. And so this is my basic opinion on it. And so my real answer to the question is, whatever path you're on, if it's doing good things in your life, it's wonderful. And if you belong to a particular tradition, or if you don't belong to a particular tradition, if you belong to a particular religion, or if you don't belong to a particular religion, as long as you're on a life-affirming path that is improving your life, more power to you. And it's not my business to judge that. And it's not anyone else's either. So that's what I think of that. And uh, until next time, may you blessed be. And check out my new subscription site, thedailyspell.com. For 12 years now, we've been sending out The Daily Spell easy and free of charge to literally thousands of people, and will continue to do so. Thedailyspell.com is a subscription site meant to augment that daily service with deeper stories, deeper news, videos, entertainment, information, many daily features such as Marianne's Mystic Gem of the Day, uh, the Daily Tarot Card, the Daily Bio, and many more things. So check it out. Subscriptions are $19.99, and until next time, may you blessed be.